I'm Philip Alviano, the Sustainable Building Advisor with the Master Builders of Victoria. During 2018 and 19, the Victorian Building Authority, in conjunction with the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning, conducted a series of audits of building sites. They looked at whether they were complying with the building permit, how they complied with the National Construction Code and the relevant Australian standards. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at what the issues were that they identified, how they impact on the energy efficiency use of the building, and what the easy methods are that can be used to make sure that these problems don't occur. The audits found a number of areas of improvement which could be grouped under the following headings. Getting the paperwork right, the product substitution, and installation practices. In this video, we're going to discuss why it's important to get your paperwork right, why it's important to install the correct products. And in the second part of this video, we're going to talk about why getting that installation correct is really important. There are several options for complying with the energy efficiency requirements of the NCC. These include meeting the NATHER six star energy rating, along with certain prescriptive NCC requirements such as sealing and services, following all the prescriptive NCC requirements, or developing another solution by engaging an expert in energy efficiency. Any design changes or product substitution that occur after the building permit has been obtained may affect compliance and therefore need to be reviewed by the building surveyor and incorporated into the documentation. One of the ways to comply with the energy efficiency requirements of the NCC is by having the plans rated using the Nationwide House Energy Rating Scheme, or NATHERS. This is a star rating system out of 10 that rates the energy efficiency of a home based on its design. A computer program such as First Rate 5 is used to estimate the energy that will be required to heat or cool the home to keep the temperature at a comfortable level during summer and winter. Six stars is the current minimum requirement. The assessment is carried out by an Adders assessor who adds various features of the home to the computer model. All the features that a house would require to achieve six stars are required to be documented in the drawings and specifications and stamped by the NATHERS assessor before a building permit is issued. Changing the specified materials can impact the energy rating. Changing the number of windows, the sizes or the orientation or the insulation R value will have an impact on the rating, which means that the home may no longer achieve the minimum required six stars. In Victoria, you may also be required to install a rainwater tank connected to toilets or a solar hot water system. If a decision is made on site as to which solution will be followed, this needs to be documented. Any changes will also need to be noted as a variation to the contract, noted in the plans and in writing to the client. Well, I suppose first and foremost, the building surveyor's role is there to actually regulate building control on the building site. Um, the regulator's responsibility would be to um, be proactive in that space also to do random audits and see that um, I suppose all practitioners are abiding by the rules and regulations and current building act requirements. Um, with the end, end game is to actually protect the consumer in that space. And I think there's also that level of responsibility to educate the industry. To move a window might seem a really simple little process, but it does require a, a number of steps that need to be considered and administered through um, to make sure everything's done above board. Um, first and foremost, it had to be the discussion between the consumer and the builder, make sure that they're both on the same page. So they'd have to enter into contract variations. Um, then there'd also have to be amended architectural plans. And if it's been moved, um, significantly, then you would have to get amended structural drawings as well. You would need amended engineer in energy report. Um, this could also lead to requiring amended planning permits, developers approval. Um, and then as part of all that process, the finalized part would be to actually get the building permit changed because the building permit would be made up of all those documents. And the energy rating, like if you're moving one window from one side of the building to the other side, um, you know, you might have a laundry that's on a corner of a building and it could be 
one could be west facing, one could be um, say north facing. That, that you're going to have significant impacts in that space. Um, but it's not just the energy; it also could impact things like overlooking as well. So I think I think the, the end game is I think really good planning in this space is vital. Um, I think we're we're all quite aware that things do change on site, um, but we've also got to be mindful that there are responsibilities um, for practitioners to make sure that they abide by the act. Um, and I'm not stepping on a on a soapbox to emphasise this, but I think it's important that everyone is aware of it that. It is an offence to do building work contrary to um, a build, approved building permit document. So if there is a change, um, have the conversation, work out what you want to do, follow the right steps and um, yeah, protect, your, protect yourself from, um, um, from any sort of um, disciplinary action from breaching those requirements. It's important to check that the NATO certificate's official. Check the certificate has a NATERS logo, which indicates the assessment was conducted by an accredited NATERS assessor and that the inputs match the plans and the specifications. Use a mobile to scan the QR code to check the certificate is valid and make sure the model corresponds to the house modelled. Check that the R values in the ceilings match. The R values in the walls are the same. The windows are the right types and orientation. Are the downlights sealed? Are these specifications the same in the working documents? So remember, to check what happens on the site matches the NATHERS report, the contract and the plans as specified. Make sure the products are installed correctly and remember if a product is substituted, that it's noted on the plans, that it's approved by the building surveyor and that the star rating is checked for any changes.